My father was an exceptional man. He was born in 19... What the hell is going on now? There's someone in there. I knew it! I knew it! Oh, my God. He was born in 1930... <laughs> You know, someone asked me the other day, which they actually did, and I'm just making this up, why I like Nintendo so much. It's the games, the quality of the console, Switch high quality, especially Joy-Con Drift, Waluigi and Smash. And also, when they release something on the eStore, you know it's going to be there forever. Oh wait, what am I talking about? They killed Mario. Today is the day. We all knew it was coming. The day that Nintendo takes the Mario 3D All-Stars off the eStore and, you know, do you know why they're doing it? I'll tell you why. No one knows. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you so much for playing my game. But look, let's get into it. Let's chat about it today. And let's talk about the potential side effects if it's really successful. If this was really successful, what it's going to mean for other nostalgic games that we're looking forward to from the 90s that may come out soon for a 35th anniversary, what does it all mean for it? All this and more after the drop. You are a very strange looking individual, if you don't mind me saying so, Private. Name? Mario! How long have you been dead, son? Sir? Okay, so we all know that Mario 3D All-Stars was released on the 18th of September 2020. They've been clear from the start that it's actually ending. The party's ending on the 31st of March. Buy the game digitally or physically before then. Because after that, they've got to take it off the shelves. Physically and digitally. It just has to go. I mean, it just has to. There's reasons, man. They just, you know, we don't understand it, but there's reasons. Don't forget, Mario's public execution is being held on the 31st of March. But then I looked at the calendar and I thought, hang on a second. It's April Fool's tomorrow. It's April Fool's today in Australia. Maybe they're going to come out with a, uh, with a Twitter, with a Twitter, with a tweet. It's going to clear all this up. Now, a lot of people have asked, including myself, why would they release one of the greatest games of all time? And on top of that, bundle it together with two other masterpieces only to take it away from us less than 12 months later. Now, of course, we have to start with the money. It's all about the money, okay? Now, if they thought they were gonna make a lot more money by releasing it between September and March, I can see where they're going with that. Scarcity, blah, 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 marketing, it's for a limited time only, while stocks last, all this kind of crap. The bottom line is this, though. If you want to buy Mario, most people don't care if I have eight months to do it. You're going to buy it anyway, right? So theoretically, I do think that they may have made a little bit more money from this. But ultimately, 90% of the people that want to play Mario games and love the nostalgia from the 90s were going to buy this regardless. They were going to jump on the Mario train. Oh. 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 But here's another thing, right? It is literally one of the greatest games ever made and one of the greatest achievements that Nintendo ever made. I know it's a bold statement, but I do think that, you know, their jump from 2D to 3D Mario, the controller scheme, how much they worked on that. I mean, I picked up Mario 3D All-Stars yesterday, Mario 64 yesterday, because I saw the headlines, it was ending, just to play a bit of it again. And still, decades later, those con that control, that movement still stands the test of time. I mean, it is an amazing achievement what they've done. And for them to take it away from us like that, man, it's not right. It's against our, our freedom. It's against our rights, everybody. We must fight to protect those rights. And here's my point with all this, right? If you create one of the greatest achievements in the 90s for video games, not only for your company, but also for the video game industry in general, doesn't it deserve to be preserved on the Nintendo eStore? I personally think it does, not only for people that want to play it today, but also people that want to jump onto the Switch train or the Nintendo ecosystem in the future. 
such a groundbreaking, foundationally good product like that, that represents so much of what Nintendo is, it should be there daily as a daily celebration of how good Nintendo is. And I really think that, that it should stay there and it baffles me that it's going. And here's the other thing, they haven't actually given us a single clear reason why Mario 3D All-Stars is actually leaving the eStore. It honestly feels like a cheap scarcity marketing strategy that they're trying to use one of the greatest games of all time. <laughs> they're trying to couple it up with like a, hey, while stocks last. It's just, I, I must have missed the actual ad that they put together for this. It's digital, so it's finite. We can only make a certain amount of memory that can hold a certain amount of Mario games on our cloud. So get in quick before the infinite amount of Mario's we can make are all sold out while stocks last. Maybe we'll see this package differently in the future. After April 1st, maybe it'll be all three separate games, all sold separately, 60 bucks each, while stocks last. Or maybe they'll release it again in the future. All together, maybe at Christmas time, on the 40th anniversary. Jokes, we lie, we're bringing it back. Now give us your money. Again, it doesn't make sense. It reeks of fake scarcity marketing crap, and it tarnishes what Mario should be on the eStore. And another thing to consider is, what if this is a huge success? What if this actually really worked for them? And now we're seeing that Zelda's 35th anniversary also has something very similar. <laughs> the problem with this scarcity marketing crap is sometimes it works. People go, oh my God, it's selling out. Digital, I don't care, it's gone in three days. I better buy it. You know, because we're at the beck and call of what Nintendo deems available on the eStore, People are just gonna line up in droves, potentially. And then those people that maybe jump on the Switch train in a year or two miss out on the Zelda 35th, or they, they miss out on Ocarina of Time Remastered on Switch. I mean, look, we're just assuming right here, we're not sure, we're speculating. But hey, if it's worked for this, maybe they'll do the same thing again. I wonder what the ad will be for that. The Song of Time won't stop this bad boy from leaving the store 17 minutes after it's released. Get in quick while stocks last. Anyway, rant over. We understand when physical stuff runs out. Of course, there's supply chains and this kind of stuff. It's harder to restock things when it's a physical thing. But when it's a digital thing, it doesn't make sense. It's nonsense. It's dumb. I just hope they don't do it again with Zelda. Love to see you guys. But thank you very much for tuning in. It is gone as of probably the release of this video is very sad. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye Mario. Let's go.